Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Da 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 dit da 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 da. I just made a discovery today. I guess it serves me right for the sin that I had in my mind, which was <laughs> the sin uh, to try voice communication, uh, or at least to, you know, because uh, a, a viewer indicated that um, he was sending CQ on a certain frequency that I think was in the SSB part of the six meter band. I'm not sure, but I it just occurred to me I might want to see if there's any signals on single sideband uh, if there aren't on CW. And well, six meter was a dead blank, but I did manage to uh, get the antenna to tune to a one to one SWR or what it thought was a one to one SWR on 14 through 50 megahertz bands. Uh, right now the antenna is about 16 feet high, fed at the base through a 50 picofarad capacitor. Ideally it would be 22 feet high so it would resonate on 14 megahertz, but I wasn't strong enough as I said to uh, in an earlier video to hoist that whole thing up there. I've just grown too weak with my medical conditions. Nevertheless, I uh, did check and test that radio to see if I could get it to tune to a wonder what it thought was a wonder one SWR on all bands 14 through 50 megahertz and indeed it will. But when it came time to check out the SSB portions of the bands, I was rewarded with the discovery that I couldn't find the microphone. I've owned that IC746 Pro since, nine, uh, since 2003, I believe, 17 years, and never once have I connected the microphone to that radio. And uh, the same holds true for the FT857D Yesu radio, that I used uh, in my playlist, Wandering the West, Mobile CW. I, n I don't even know where the microphone for that thing is. <laughs> I would never hooked it up, not even for two meter FM. I have simply never used voice on either of those radios. Yeah, I don't think I've made a voice contact in, in recent memory. Not that I'm proud of it necessarily, but it, it proves one thing. I'm a CW operator, or at least uh, not a voice operator. I've done some PSK31 and a little bit of radio teletype, but I've now grown rather bored even with those modes you know, having to read and type is getting more and more difficult because in addition to all of my other foibles, I am gradually going blind. I'd say that in 10 years, I will be legally blind. I'm not sure I'll be able to get my next driver's license. And I'm making plans for that kind of a lifestyle. But CW, I don't have to be looking at the keyer paddle in order to send that I do have to find a way to figure out what frequency I'm on. I guess if I hear other CW signals, then I'm in the CW band, right? Until I get an FCC citation for operating out of band. Well, shut up, Stanley. The point of the matter is, one sure sign of a true CW addict is uh, the fact that can't find the microphone for the radio. I mean, I put it away somewhere, but God only knows where. I sure don't. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73. Oh, by the way, I did not 
make any contacts today. The band conditions were just awful. Just awful. Even considering the human-made noise, I just hardly heard anything at all. Any signals at all. On CW, of course. So long. That translates to... Da-da-da-da-da-da. Da, 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 da.